Hey, I've got another Be Free Builds Cargo Camper update. Today I'm going to be continuing my learning experience with plumbing. I'm going to be installing the freshwater system. I need to run water from this tank down the wall to supply the sink, toilet, and shower. To get the water down trailer, I drill perfectly aligned holes to run the lines through. See how nice and straight that blue line is? I've never used PEX before, and I was a little turned off by the specialized tooling required for the clamps, but it's been really solid so far. I've had zero leaks from the PEX plumbing, and I would have expected at least one or two from me screwing up. The water will run through the walls to the shower and toilet. Once that was all done, I built the cabinet and laminate countertop. Check out the video for that build on my channel. Few jobs are more stressful than cutting a hole in the camper, but here's another one I had to cut. No need to see me fumble with the jigsaw again. Check out my window install video if you want to see me cutting a hole in the side of this trailer. This hole will provide access for a city water hookup and a tank fill line. I assembled a little wooden brace that this will be drilled into. I'm trying my best to keep things sealed up nicely. Water damage is something I'd really like to avoid. I'm dry fitting all the parts and reasoning about where they'll go. The supply lines come in right above the tank and the pump is right next to the tank. These PEX lines have to connect to the wall to supply the bathroom water, but also need to supply the sink, which will go directly above. I assemble the PEX connections for the sink supply valves. Again, these PEX lines have given me zero problems so far, but the same can't be said for the connections for the clear tubing. I ended up playing whack-a-mole with the leaks on those connections. This line is for city water. I've got on a valve so I can choose between city water and tank water. It also has a separate connection for the tank fill line. If I was going to do it all over again, I'd probably combine the city water and tank fill lines and use a valve to switch between them. Here's the first of several leaks. It took me a while to figure out how tight to get these connections. Generally speaking, it's as tight as friggin' possible. This was my first attempt at a fill line. The hose was too rigid and didn't connect very well. I also ran the vent line for the fresh tank. I removed the fill hose and filled the tank a bit from the sink supply using city water. Then I test that the pump is working. Here it's actually recirculating water through the tank. Get the sink in with the supply lines run and a test drain. I got a better fill line installed, but I still need to shorten it up a bit.
and a quick test of the sink from the tank supply. I've got a few more plumbing projects coming up soon, like the shower, the water heater, and the gray tank installations. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.